Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to jump right in. I am using this concealer from Tarte. This is the 12 hour Amazonian clay. Love it. I love mixing it with my Urban Decay as you see me doing here. So we're just going to highlight and conceal our under eyes with a damp beauty blender. You definitely want to get your beauty blender damp with these concealers because they are quite thick and full coverage so you need that moisture to really blend them out. And then I'm going to set my face. I'm mixing the Laura Mercier Translucent and Secret Brightening Powders because I wanted a really brightening effect under my eyes this time. Usually I just use the translucent but I really wanted to go for that super highlighted look so we're going to apply that pretty much all over the face and let it bake. To set the rest of my face, I'm using a flat kabuki brush and I'm going to stamp this into my skin. This is just the Laura Mercier translucent powder and it'll really lock in your foundation. So now we're jumping into the Alice palette from Urban Decay. I'm loving this palette. I'm using the color Reflection, which is a light matte peachy shade, and I'm just going to put this in my crease. This is going to be the first color we lay down, although this look is pretty simple. Uh, it's mostly about your lashes, liner, and lips. So any color would work, but I'm just going to buff this through my crease and I'm going to kind of bring it in the inner part of the socket of my eye if that makes sense. You'll see me kind of buffing it there. Uh, usually I would go down more in the crease, but now I'm going to really focus it on that inner corner by where my nose starts. And then I'm going to go in with Dormouse. Is that what it is? I said Dormouse last time and people were like, what? Dormouse and I'm going to intensify that and again you'll see me really working it up there and right by my nose and kind of blending it through which is a different technique but I really wanted to sculpt out my crease in a different way so now I'm going in with looking glass which is a light matte baby pink and I'm just going to lay that on my lid just to brighten it a little bit it's not going to do too much because it is kind of sheer and then I'm going to jump back in with Duchess which is a pink peachy shimmery color and just apply a little of that over top of it just to give a little bit of a glowy peachy look I just really want this to be soft and pretty for spring um, and then I thought you know what I really wanted to kind of oomph it up so I went in with my Dose of Colors pigment and shell. You don't have to do that, it's just optional. Any pigment you have. And I'm gonna apply that to the lid. I just really wanted a little bit more like pizzazz on the eyes because they are pretty easy and pretty neutral. So I thought this was a good uh, product to use and it's just really beautiful. These duos are amazing. And you see me kind of blending through just to make sure everything is cohesive. And then we're going to dust away that powder that we had baking. You can see now where I kind of did that shading on the inner part of my socket by my nose, how it kind of looks when you're looking head on. I really like the look of it. It's just something different that you can do. So also go over your nose contour. Someone was asking me in another video how it went from looking really harsh to kind of blended and this is how. You just take that uh, translucent powder and whatever's left over it and just really kind of pat over your nose and just soften those lines. So after that, we're going to do our liner. I'm going to do a wing because this is a simple look. I want to just focus on a wing with some nice lashes. Um, so I'm using my Artist of Makeup pen, which is absolutely phenomenal. You guys know I love it, and I'm just going to create a typical wing. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to do a wing, but I just wanted to do that for this look. So just do whatever kind of wing you're feeling, and then we're going to move on to lashes. I'm applying these lashes from Socialize. I haven't worn these in a while, but I love these. These are the Vixen lashes, and I actually double stacked two pairs just to make them more dramatic, um, just to kind of really emphasize my eyes so I like the effect that it had and I love this brand of lashes they're all synthetic which I love uh, and then I'm gonna go in and bronze my face up I'm using the Sonia Kashuk glow bronzer love this I'm using more so of the bronzy side and I'm using my Tom Ford brush which is oh, it's unreal like I I love this brush it is probably the most expensive brush I own but I'm telling you I use it I mean I use it every day. A lot of times I don't use it on camera. Um, I use it to bronze my neck up and kind of blend my foundation in but I wanted to use it today. It's just it's just gorgeous for bronzing. So now I'm going to go in with my Pixi Contour Powder. You can pick this up at Target as well as the Sonia Kashuk I just showed. And just going to contour and carve out those cheekbones to slim the face and then I'm going to go in with blush. I don't remember the names of these off the top of my head but I will have them linked down below. And I'm just going to mix these. One's like a light peachy color and one 
is a light pink, like a baby pink. So I was like mixing them just to give me a really pretty summer kind of flush cheek look. And then I'm gonna go in with this new Pat McGrath Skin Fetish. This is the new um, highlighter and I'm going in with the luminous side. It's like a luminous stick and I'm just going to kind of pat that on the tops of my cheekbones just to get ready to apply the highlighter. This was my first time using it and it's really pretty. So after that, I'm going in with the actual highlighter, which is, it's in the color nude, but it's really like the pink one. It's kind of confusing. And I'm just going to apply that on the tops of my cheekbones and just keep building it until the highlight is intense. It's really beautiful. It's almost like sheer. And then when you turn, you see this really pretty iridescent pink. So after that, I'm going to apply this. It's, it's a blemish corrector. So you can use it for your face, but also for your waterline. And I just like the way it looks. It's a cream kind of concealer color. So just to waken up the eyes. And then we're gonna apply mascara and we're actually going to leave our bottom lash line completely bare. Just put mascara and that's it. So that's why I wanted a really brightening effect on my concealer because we are leaving it bare and I wanna be like bright eyed looking. After that, I'm going in with my lip color. I am using a lip liner, which I don't know why I did that. I didn't really need a lip liner, but then I'm going in with my lip stain as usual just because it's like an OCD thing I do. I always wear a lip stain no matter what. And then after that, I'm going in with Jeffree Star Posh Spice. I just purchased this and I love it. This is like a gorgeous nude. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like a beautiful different take on a nude. So apply that and that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have videos coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.